Top 25 Payroll Manager Interview Questions and Answers Job interviews are becoming more complex. The scope of assessment is widening, with interviewers aiming to unravel more than your work experience. Preparing adequately before stepping into an interview room increases your chances of landing a job. A payroll manager works in the finance and human resource departments of an organization to oversee employee payments. A typical interview will assess whether you understand what your job entails. This article looks at some of the commonly asked questions in a payroll manager interview to help you know what to expect. We will provide conclusive answers to all 25 questions to give you an idea of how you should answer them. Let's dive right into it. 1. Why are you interested in this role? I have vast experience in dealing with employee payments that I believe I can use to better your organization, having worked in firms with over 2,000 employees. I also interned at your firm in the early years of my career and have always wanted to come back, given your excellent work environment and internal policies. 2. What are the roles of a payroll manager? A payroll manager handles the preparation and distribution of employee payments. He or she maintains the payment records, calculates taxes, balances the payroll accounts and manages other payroll staff members while directing and managing payroll procedures. 3. What are the qualities that a payroll manager requires to be effective? A payroll manager should be attentive to detail, given the calculations required in preparing employee payment records. He or she should have excellent leadership and teamwork skills, strong mathematical skills, and proficiency to work under pressure. A payroll manager should also be reliable and honest. 4. What major challenges did you face during your last role? How did you manage it? My last assignment was in a firm with over 2,000 employees. Even with my vast experience, managing payments for such a number of employees was quite challenging. I had to develop a way of breaking down work to ensure that we were not late on payment processing. I strengthened teamwork in the payroll staff and had everybody channel their energies to the preparation of employee payments which saw us finalize things on time. 5. Describe your routine as a payroll manager. In most of the firms that I have worked in, the staff work from a shared inbox, where tasks are categorized for individuals and teams. As the payroll manager, my day begins by assessing the job that comes in via email, and together with the rest of the staff, work in date order. Part of the day is also spent on answering phone calls. I also filter the task list in the inbox to reveal different projects for every team member. Being a manager, I support the junior members of my team and other payroll staff. 6. Describe briefly about your experience. This is my 11th year working in the finance department. I have learned quite a number of things. My second posting at John's development firm helped me explore electronic payments, which I have vast experience in, and tax policies. I have learned how to use several payment software efficiently and even took up coding lessons to boost my computer knowledge. Having worked in an IT firm before, I know how to use technology to better work and save time. 7. What kind of strategies and mindset is required for this role? Given the amount of work that goes into preparing and distributing employee payments, one of the strategies that have always worked for me is teamwork. Handling everything alone creates room for errors which may be costly. As for the second part, having a result-oriented mindset keeps you on toes and helps you meet deadlines, especially where employee payments are concerned. 8. What is the biggest challenge that you foresee in this job? I undertook some research on your company and discovered that you have over 2,000 employees. Just like in my previous firm, the greatest challenge will be the workload. However, I have come up with strategies over the years that have helped me handle such a massive number of employees, which means that this will not be a challenge once I settle here. Together with the top management, we can always handle any challenge that comes up in the job. 9. How do you stay motivated at work? I started meditating at a tender age, which I have been doing consistently to date. It has helped me build my focus and motivation. My mind is, therefore, constantly engrossed in a job until I get it done. Apart from the deadlines provided by the firm, I also create some for myself, which I always strive to meet. 10. Describe a time you failed in this role and the lesson you learned. 
The end of the month is usually the most challenging as it is the busiest. Owing to the pressure, I once decided to take a huge chunk of work to go over it overnight and meet the set deadlines. The job proved to be excessive, and owing to the fatigue, I did not complete it on time, which saw salaries delay for two days. This earned me a severe reprimand, but also taught me the importance of delegating work. I have never suffocated myself with such an excessive workload again. 11. Mention one difference between an employee and contractor for payroll purposes. A contractor's payroll taxes are not withheld as opposed to the employee. Contractors are generally issued with a W-2 at a given time of the year. You can provide any other answer that shows you understand how payroll taxes work for contractors and are familiar with payroll taxes levied on employees. 12. Have you ever found yourself in a position where you have to deliver bad news to an employee? Walk us through the situation, if any. In my former workplace, I had to tell some employees that the company was downsizing owing to a massive decline in revenue, and we, therefore, had to let them go. I approached the conversation in a straightforward and empathetic manner and even stayed behind to help them sort some of their issues. 13. How do you met deadlines? Tell us how you manage your time. I usually set my deadlines, which I strive to achieve, on top of those given by the company. I also use an automated reminder system that confirms whether each payroll action has been completed. Also, depending on the nature of work, I may start working on the payroll days earlier. 14. How do you stay informed of tax changes affecting payrolls? After work, I usually take some time to check the gazetted laws and keep up with tax blogs that write about tax news. I also ensure that I have read bulletins for businesses that the IRS often issues on a quarterly basis. I am also part of a large WhatsApp group consisting of payroll managers and tax experts where we update ourselves on tax changes or any related development. 15. What would you do if there is an IT glitch preventing you from accessing your cloud-based payroll system when you have an urgent deadline to meet? First, I'd like to assure you that I will not let such a thing happen. Whenever I am selected for such a position, my first action is to organize for both paper and digital backups in liaison with the employer. These backups detail the employee list and do amounts in case of cloud-based system malfunctions. I also ensure that I regularly update the backups so that I can use one of these to process the payroll way before the deadline manually in such a scenario. 16. Tell us about some of the payroll systems that you are familiar with. I have been using on-premises workforce in my five years of experience, before overseeing my former company's conversion to several reliable cloud-based products for payroll processing. This in turn introduced me to a number of software-managed payroll systems, which I can suggest for your company's payroll management's betterment. 17. What is your management style? I have come to realize that delegating responsibility and building a team is the best way to manage. I am a staunch believer of teamwork. I clarify every team member's roles, explain to them where they fit in the organization, and encourage them to be free with each other. My management style also welcomes feedback, whether negative or positive. I do not also shy from pointing out mistakes and commending good work. 18. What have you done in the last 12 months in regards to personal development? Given the nature and pressure that comes with management, I have not had the opportunity to develop within this particular role. However, I decided to get more involved in my local food bank, which has made me been very rewarding. I also joined a cyclist club, where we meet every weekend and cycle for long and share ideas. This has helped improve my line of thinking and even given me some unique ideas that I have implemented. 19. What made you leave your previous job? Why did you choose us? Working at Jack and Johnson was such a great experience. I learned a lot about this field. However, after 10 years, I felt that it was time to seek new challenges and give another person a chance to work with them. I chose your company because of the positive work environment and progressive policies. 20. Now that you have mentioned our work environment, what is your ideal work environment? I appreciate an environment that allows employees to express themselves freely, even with expectations and accountability in place. I also love working in a place where I can balance working on my own and in a team. 21. How do you reduce or eliminate errors in your work? 
I always ensure that the final payroll documents are reviewed thrice before they leave my desk. I proofread all my reports and use different software to reference them against the data in the cloud-based system. As for the elusive grammar and spelling mistakes, I use Grammarly, a word-by-word -word correction software. 22. What are some of the factors that influence fair pay? Fair pay is primarily influenced by an employer's ability to pay. One can only pay fairly if the business revenues can support the salaries. Other factors include the prevailing rates of wages in the same occupation and the overall wage rate in the same or neighboring regions. 23. As an experienced payroll manager, what would you say are some of the advantages of a time rate system? A time rate system is highly convenient in the modern factory system. It prevents unnecessary quarrels among workers and receives support from trade unions. Employees will also outrightly know the amount they are owed. 24. What does payroll management mean to you? Payroll management means maintaining and controlling records for basic pay, eligible allowances, emoluments, increments, and deductions such as the income tax and any other funds to be recovered from an employee. It also entails maintaining attendance and leave records, overseeing compliance with different legal requirements that may have legal consequences. Payroll management also ensures making the correct deductions and timely remittance to the government and other authorities. 25. What is a payroll card and what are some of its advantages? Like the name suggests, this is a card that allows employees to access their payments through an automated teller machine. It is more convenient than the check casher. Employees are not charged when they use it once to access their funds. However, repeated withdrawals are charged. All in all, it is a cheaper and more convenient way of receiving payment compared to other means. Conclusion These 25 examples sum up some of the commonly asked payroll manager interview questions. We have come up with answers to help guide you in answering them. I hope that this article will help you ace your interview, 